All right, let's go ahead and get started here. I had my trusty iPad out. I'm trying to follow along with this picture I have. It's not a real good picture, but it's something. Anyways, I cheated a little bit. I went ahead and started because this, this takes me a while. I went ahead and put some oil up here. This is acrylic. These are dry. I've done that a few days ago. I'm going to go ahead and start in the grass. This looks like a park. Here's a pathway. Uh, let me get some of this off my brush. This is the brush I've been using. No sense wasting it. It's dark down here anyway. It's got dark paint on it. Because I want to start with some yellow. The sun will be coming down this way today. It's coming in from a different angle. It's going to be bright right in here. And like I said, I don't care if I get it, get this on these trees or not. These trees are dry with acrylic, and it don't make no difference. Um, yeah, this right in here, it's really going to get dark down in here. There's a lot of trees back in here. I'll just put a little bit of this right in here. Start with some ochre. I'll take my one inch brush and I'll mix all this up here in a minute. Let's put a little ochre right in here. Let's get into some greens real fast because it's going to get dark real quick. I haven't done a forest picture in a long time, and I try to do different stuff. And this is the probably the better picture, best picture I could find for this. Let's take a little Prussian blue. Oh, here's some crimson. Good. Those are in crimson. Let's throw it down here. This is real dark down here in this area. So we don't care. Dark is dark, right? Prussian blue. There's a big shadow right there, probably, so that'll be dark. Okay, let me get me a get a one-inch brush real quick. Stir all this up real fast. It's okay if you. I'm, I'll have to go over all this again. I just put this caught this oil up here. So if I get in it, that's okay. That won't be the end of the world, will it? Uh, like I said, I don't care if I get it on the trees. Yeah, sometimes I use acrylic paint to get me started. Like this is dry right here. Because paintings like this take a while. This, this here is going to take me several days. To, I'll just work on it a little bit here and there while I'm painting other stuff. Because there's a lot of stuff on a forest painting. <laughs> They're not quick. So if you want a quick painting, this is not, forest painting is not a quick painting. They're very slow and methodical. But it's something different to look at. This gives us our base. We'll go over all this again with the fan brush. Like I said, I think it's some kind of a park. I mean, you know, with the path. You, you would definitely think that. So that's what I'm thinking. Pull this out a little bit. I, this may be all I can do today. I'll, I'll put this road in, but the rest of this, I may work on these trees a little. But I can't put no background trees in. That's just too wet. i just done that. That's why I said. I'll work on this a little bit at a time. Until we get it done. Alright, let's go ahead and start working on the grass before we go any further. I went ahead and put some more trees in, put some branches in, but let's go ahead and do the grass. And as I said, this looks like a park to me. Uh, I may put bushes over in here, I'm not sure. But I think I think this is some type of a park from the picture. 
So it's pretty manicured for a forest. <laughs> this is cad yellow light that I'm using. This is where the sun will be hitting, right in here. Of course, we'll have lots of shadows also. And I'm getting this on the trees, and that's why I want to go ahead and do this before I start putting some final coats on these trees. Let's go ahead and get this area here. I may put a rock here, I'm thinking. I, I'm not sure. It's one of the things I'm thinking about. You gotta, because you know, I'm partially winging it. I have, I have a picture that has some of these trees. They're not exactly the way I put them in, but. You kind of, you got to just think as you're going along, pretty much. Let's start getting to some ochre. If I was smart, I would have probably done this grass first, then put the trees in. But apparently, I'm not that smart. It's okay, we'll get it. That would have been probably the best order, and then let it sit overnight and dry. Or, fin or you know, put them in that day. Uh, let's put some ochre down in here. Like I said, I may put a rock here. I'll go ahead and put some grass here just in case I change my mind. Which happens. Change my mind a lot because you have to have to adapt with the painting. The painting changes a little bit, you gotta change with it. Getting, this collar should be getting darker now, especially back in here. I'll even get them darker than this, probably. Probably put some Prussian blue in it here in a minute. But let me go ahead and get some of this. This is just sap green is what I'm using right now. My brush has a little bit of ochre in it and a little, little bit of yellow and stuff like that. All right, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some, start working on these trees a little bit. I just put the grass in. You guys see me do that. That's only been a couple minutes ago. I'm gonna start working on these background trees a little bit. I'm gonna start highlighting some of them. Put highlights where I think they need it. I'm just gonna take some white. Run it down the edge. I'm gonna get a paper towel. This takes a while to do. That's what makes these forest scenes take a little longer because there's so many trees. The grass is on the trees a little bit, and that's okay. It just takes time. We'll work with it. But see, some of these trees, I'm going to highlight them all the way to the top, but some of these will not even be shown because we're going to have leaves. Some of the stuff. But we just don't know what's going to be shown and what is not going to be shown yet. So I'm going to highlight them clear to the top. Because I haven't made my mind up yet about where the leaves are going to go. There's going to be so many leaves. I mean, shoot. You almost have to highlight it because you just can't determine that. But I'm gonna go ahead and work on these trees and get this get this part done because because it takes a while. And this is just pure white because these trees are really wet. It's mixing.
Now sometimes they say not to use pure white, and I understand. But trust me, this ain't pure white once it hits these. Wipe that off. Yeah, I'm just, I'll do another one or two, but this is what I'm doing. All the way up and all the way down. I'm twisting my brush as I'm coming down also. Twisting it because it keeps the paint flowing. Uh, I'll do this branch right here and then I'll, I'll do the rest of this off camera because this is kind of slow. Slow and methodical. Okay, I'm going to keep doing that and I'll be back. All right, I'm back here. All I'm doing now is I got my trusty iPad out of the picture. That doesn't really resemble this too much, but it gives me an idea of where to put the leaves. And that's really what I'm doing. I'm taking some Prussian blue and some raw umber. And I'm putting these leaves pretty much where they are in the picture even though my trees don't really match the picture real well it still gives me an idea because it's always easier to have something to look at if you can and I'm just throwing the leaves in where I where I think they should be I'm gonna throw some right over here on top of this branch right here and as we come this way the leaves are gonna get lighter they're gonna be darker here and get lighter over here and then I'm gonna have some dark ones hanging down from this big tree right here at least that's the plan. You know how things are. Things change. Things can change a little bit from time to time. Especially when I'm painting. I change my, and you should. If something don't look right, change your mind. You're not stuck with any certain thing. Let's see, this might be okay there for a moment. I'll just bring I really don't want any too many leaves on these big trees in the front. And I'm going to take some yellow and kind of lighten these up just a little bit, some of these leaves. Because they're going to be getting a little lighter the more we go that way. Because the sun is coming down this direction. Just take some more yellow. I'm just trying to lighten them up so you can see them and so I can see them. Because they're hard to see when they're real dark like that. Of course, now in the upper area up in here, it should be a little dark. But down into here, it should be a little lighter. Um, but that's really all I'm doing. I mean, this is going to be covered in some really light leaves. Lighter. I'm even going to put a little white in it, I believe. Because according to the picture, these are kind of... And this painting is set for two days, which is not good. I don't like it sitting that long, unless I really want it to dry. Uh, one day would have been fine. I just, uh, just once again, I couldn't get to it. <laughs> Same old story, right? I mean, it's the truth. A um, little yellow, sap green. I'm putting a little white in it. White. I want it to be a little whiter. I'm going to have some, like I said, some bit, some darker leaves coming over through the top. I'm just kind of just throwing these in here randomly. I don't know how much of this will show. Maybe not a lot. I don't know. I really doubt it. I doubt if a lot will show. Um, okay. Some darker ones there. But I'm just going to keep fooling around with this. This is all I'm doing, just throwing some leaves in. And then I'll bring you back. All right, what I've decided to do, this painting is like a park. We're, this is a path going through a park. I'm gonna have some, a couple fence posts right here just to give it some color and some life. I got a rock here and I put some more leaves in and that's really all I've done so far. 
Um, I'm just working on, I just put this in so this is wet. And I'm going to put some ivy on here and put some, maybe some red flowers on it. Something to give it some pop. So let me uh, keep working on this for a minute. I'm going to highlight this a little more right here, a little more white. As I said, this is, I just put these in here just a minute ago. So we want to get them as close as we can to look, even though they're going to have stuff on them, we want them to look as good as we can. And this rock here, I'm still working on it. I may have to get me a different brush. My brushes, if I, I put blue on a brush, when you put blue on it, you just almost for sure have to use something else. It's just pretty much ruined once you put some blue on it. Let's put some collar in this rock. Just put a little collar in here. It's kind of just sitting here doing nothing. <laughs> sitting there taking up space. But it looks good where it is. Put some of that. That's yellow ochre. Put a little burnt sienna in here. I'll go over that again with some lighter collar. Don't hurt to try, does it? Let's give it a shot and see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's take some. Ooh. Let me change brushes. I almost stuck that right back in the blue, that clean brush. Here's the one I had Prussian blue. Let's take some Prussian blue, mix it with some green, and let's see if we can flop in a few leaves here. See how wet that is? It's going to have to be pretty dark. I want a little darker than that. I'm just going to have to cake it on if I want to finish it. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing like caking it on. That's what you got to do sometimes with oil paint. I don't like to do that, but <laughs> sometimes that's just how it is. Um, I got to get me some red, so I'll be back in. I'll bring you back in a second. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna take some Cadio light before I put the red on here. I want to brighten this up a little bit. It needs, it needs some yellow in it. You gotta have a paper towel in your hand where this is really wet. Yeah, we gotta have some yellow in here. Maybe not a lot, but it's, it's gotta have some. This is supposed to be vine, so it's gotta have leaves. You know, you're, sometimes you're better off not to fool with something until, until it dries a little bit. But I just want to get this done. It's been sitting around a few days. And this is just about all I got to do. It's real close. Okay, let me take some alizarin crimson. I, I don't know how many flowers I want on there, but maybe not a lot. I'm going to start with some alizarin crimson. It's going to be hard to stick. That wasn't too bad. Yeah. Keep your keep wiping your brush off because you're going to pick up a lot of oil. Get it on here pretty thick. Put it on your brush pretty thick because at this point we're pretty much caking it on. Uh, let's put one right here. See, I'm actually going kind of going outside of my flowers I just put in because that part's dry. This grass is almost dry, so it's sticking right there. We got four flowers. We need one more. Oh, let's put one. Let's put one right here. That don't look too bad. Now let's get some cad red light, and we're going to put on top of that to make it pop, make it shine. 
yeah, there we go. Here we go. I love that color. I love cad red light. It's so, so nice. Such a nice color. I get the little tubes though. This 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 cadmium color is yellow, like cad yellow light. I have that. And those those are expensive. Of course, not by the big tubes, but they're still pretty expensive. Let's see if I can get some little, just a touch of white, just for another color. All right, folks, that looks like a wrap. I like it. I think it turned out pretty good. Hey, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it.